Candidates are expected to have a thorough understanding of the syllabus details outlined in the accompanying figure. Force on a current carrying conductor wire. When a current flows through a wire, it creates a magnetic field around the wire. This magnetic field interacts with the magnetic field of a magnet, producing a force to act on a wire upward. This causes the wire to move upward. The Fleming left hand rule helps determine the direction of magnetic force on the wire. The index finger points in the direction of the magnetic field. The middle finger points in the direction of the current. Thumb points in the direction of the force or motion. All three fingers are perpendicular to each other. The force is maximum when the current flows perpendicular to the magnetic field. The force on a wire decreases when the current flows at the angle to the magnetic field. And there is no force on a wire when the current flows parallel to the magnetic field. The magnetic force is always perpendicular to both the current and the magnetic field. The direction of force on the wire can be reversed by reversing the the current, reversing the magnetic field. If both the current and magnetic field are reversed at the same time, the direction of the force remains the same. The magnitude of magnetic force can be increased by increasing the current, increasing the magnetic field strength by using the stronger magnet, increasing the length of the wire that interacts with the magnetic field by adding more loops. Loudspeakers and headphones. Loudspeakers and headphones convert electrical signals into sound. A loudspeaker consists of a coil of wire which is wrapped around one pole of a permanent magnet. The loudspeaker is connected to an amplifier that provides an alternating current. This alternating current flows through the coil, creating alternating magnetic field around it. The alternating magnetic fields interact with the field of permanent magnet, causing a force to be exerted on the coil. As the constant change in the magnetic field direction, the exerted force on the coil will constantly change direction, causing the coil to oscillate. The oscillating coil then causes the paper cone to oscillate. This makes the surrounding air to oscillate, creating compressions and rarefactions, forming sound waves. Force on the moving charged particles in the magnetic field. When a negatively charged particle travels opposite to the current flow. A negatively charged particle travels to interact perpendicular to a uniform magnetic field directed into the page. This interaction creates a magnetic force being exerted on the particle, directed downward and perpendicular to its motion. Applying the Fleming left hand rule, with your index finger pointing into the page along the magnetic field direction and your middle pointing to the left along the current direction. You see that your thumb points downward, indicating the direction of force acting on the negatively charged particle. This force always acts on the particle at a right angle, causing it to move in a circular path. When the negatively charged particle leaves from the magnetic field, it moves in a straight line, because of the absence of the magnetic force. When a positively charged particle travels in the same direction as the current flow, a positively charged particle also interacts perpendicularly with a uniform magnetic field directed into the page. This interaction creates a magnetic force acting on the particle, directed upwards and perpendicular to its motion. Applying the Fleming left hand rule, with your index finger pointing into the page along the magnetic field direction and your middle pointing to the right along the current direction. You see that your thumb points upwards, indicating the direction of force acting on the positively charged particle. This force always acts on the particle at a right angle, causing it to move in a circular path. When the positively charged particle leaves the magnetic field, it moves in a straight line, because of the absence of the magnetic force. I hope you found this video helpful. If you did, I would be grateful if you would subscribe, share, like and leave a positive comment.
Your support will encourage me to create more content. Thank you.